Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sully Ninja, and I wanted to make a quick little video talking about an interesting little game that I've recently found called Salt. Now, some of you may have already heard about this. It's been on the indie gaming subreddit quite a few times now, but a couple of days ago, the developers at Lava Boot Studios finally made an early access build available to the public so we could have a go at it, and oh boy, have I been playing this a lot over the last few days. If you don't know, Salt is basically this open world randomly generated adventure game which has you sailing between random islands in a vast and endless ocean which is itself procedurally generated. That basically means you never run out of islands to explore and places to go. Now there's not much aim to the game yet seeing as this is the very first version available to the public. But in its current state, the game allows you to craft some very basic items like a sword or a pickaxe and then you use those things to collect more resources so you can build more advanced stuff, which is all very basic stuff, there's nothing really groundbreaking there yet. However, there is also an assortment of boats and rafts you can build, and it's here that the game shows its uniqueness. Because of the nature of the game, you will be traveling between islands a lot of the time, because eventually resources on one island will run out, so you have to move to a different place, and it's the sailing and the seafaring in general that caught my attention to salt in the first place. Now you start out with a very basic raft, but the more resources you are able to gather, the better your boat will be, and I hope the developers will continue to add a lot of features to the sailing part of the game, because it works so well and it really gives you this sense of exploration and adventure. Now keep in mind that the version I'm showing you here is an early access build, so that means that it's by no means a complete and accurate representation of the game, but during my play sessions with it, I found myself secretly wishing for a couple of features. The first one is fishing. I would love nothing more than to just sit on my raft and fish all day only to retire to the beach when the sun goes down and cook me some delicious bass or cod or whatever, that would be great. Now the developers have already stated that they are working on implementing this, so I hope to see it in the near future because I can't wait for this to be available. The second feature I'd like to see in Salt is a weather system, and I'm not talking about a light drizzle or some wind, I'm talking about sailing out to sea, getting caught in a huge thunderstorm, and having to hold on to your raft for dear life. That is what a pirate-themed exploration game needs, and I don't know if the engine is capable of handling that, but if it is, then it would make for some pretty great adventures. And last but not least, the one thing that all pirate-themed exploration games need is cannons. Just imagine rolling up on an island, spotting some hostile pirates on the shore and blasting away at them with your huge iron cannon. That would really complete the game for me. I know the game is far from being complete, but these are just a couple of things I'd like to see in future releases of Salt. If there's anything you would like to see, or you have any ideas about what the game needs to make it even better, leave a comment behind below this video or pay a visit to the Project Salt subreddit, which I will link in the description below. Also, if you would like to try out Salt for yourself, make sure to download the trial version from the website. I'll also put a link to that in, in the description below. And make sure to let me know what you think. That's it. Thank you for joining me on this very quick preview of Salt. Don't forget to tune in next Friday for a new episode of Indie Beginning, and I hope to see you all next time.